to a developing story that we have been following since Friday. A road rage shooting in a busy part of town. The 59 northbound ramp to 288 South. That's where a young man was found shot in his car. And tonight we're learning more about that 18 year old who was shot in the face during the violent confrontation. Our Bill Barajas is live downtown tonight at HPD headquarters. And Bill, you talked to a man who stopped and tried to help that teenager. That's right, and the victim was identified by a close family's friend as 18-year-old Robert Mouton. We're told Mouton had just graduated from Marshall High School in Fort Bend County this past summer. As you mentioned, we talked to a man who stopped to help him the day of the shooting. As you can imagine, the news of his passing was tough on him. It hurts. It hurts because I felt good telling the story. And until now, it doesn't feel good telling the story anymore because it hurts. I felt like I did something good. Mariano Gonzalez had just got the news. Gonzalez, one of several men who stopped to help 18-year-old Robert Mouton. Mouton was shot in the face Friday during a road rage incident. When I pulled him out um, with the help of another guy, uh, we put him on the floor and I told him to just keep breathing, breathe, breathe, because somehow in my experience in life, when you maybe you're out or you're semi out, you can probably hear somebody say something to you. And if somebody says breathe, then you hold on to that. According to HPD, it happened on the 288 entrance ramp from US 59. Investigators telling us Mouton and the driver of this white pickup used their vehicles as weapons and rammed into each other. Eventually, the driver of this pickup, 45-year-old Jorge Joya, pulled out a gun and fired. Hoya stopped, but according to Gonzalez, didn't help. He was arrested and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. That kind of hurt me because you shoot somebody, of course you want to inflict damage, but you also don't want him to die. And it felt cold to me. Gonzalez telling us if possible, he would like to connect with Mouton's family. I would. I would. What would you want to say to them? Nothing. Just, just a hug. Just a hug. And Houston police say homicide detectives have picked up this case. That initial charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon could be upgraded in the coming days. Live in downtown, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.